Okay, so the next problem is find the compound interest on rupees seven thousand at seven percent for eight years. Compounded half yearly. Okay. Now here the principal given to us is seven thousand. The rate is given to be how much? The rate is given to be seven percent. So what is the rate that I am going to use for half yearly? The rate that I am going to use is. Seven upon two means three point five percent, the half of seven. So I am not going to use this rate of interest, but I am going to use this rate of interest, which I am calling capital R. Okay. And what is the the period? The it is eight years. So this means that the number of terms n means number of terms. How many terms are there? How many half terms are there in eight years? So there are eight multiplied by two means there are sixteen terms in eight years. In eight years you will have sixteen half years means you have to multiply by two. So remember in the problem of compounded half yearly, what you have to do is you have to make half of the rate. You have to make half of the rate, and you have to make Double of the number of years. Suppose the number of years is ten, then the number of terms will be twenty. So if the rate is ten percent, then I will use the rate in the problem will be five percent. Okay. So now let us solve the problem. What is the compound interest? First of all, let us write the formula. A is equal to P into one plus R upon hundred. Raise to n. What is n standing for? N is standing for number of terms. Means how many times you are going to calculate the compound interest. Okay, which what is p equal to seven thousand into bracket one plus rate is how much? Rate is three point five. I'm not going to use the rate as seven percent because I'm solving the problem for compounded half yearly. So I'm going to type. I'm going to write what? Three point five upon hundred. Raised to this n stands for number of terms. How many number of terms? Should I write eight or should I write sixteen? We are solving the problem for half yearly, so I should write number of terms is how much? Sixteen terms. And now I will go in my calculator and I will calculate what is one plus what is three point five divided by hundred. When I do in my calculator, three point five divided by hundred, I will get zero point zero. Three five and raise to sixteen, and what is one plus zero point zero three five in the calculator? You will get one point zero three five raise to sixteen. Now this one point zero three five raise to sixteen. I will again use my calculator and I will find out what is one point zero three five raise to sixteen. Will be 1.7339. So this is 1.7339 multiplied by this is 7000 is as it is. And now I will do this multiplication. It is 7000 multiplied by 1.7339. You can do it on your calculator. You will get it to be 12,137 approximately. Okay. Which is approximately twelve thousand one hundred and thirty-seven. So this will be the amount in the given problem. And therefore, what is the compound interest? The compound interest we know is has a formula: amount minus principal. So amount is how much? Amount is twelve thousand one hundred and thirty-seven minus principal is seven thousand, which is equal to. I will do it on my calculator now. One, two, one, three, seven minus seven thousand, 
and that is equal to 5137 so i will write it as 5137 so this will be the compound interest of the given question okay so now we will solve a problem find compound interest on rupees 8500 at 9% for 9 years compounded half yearly So we will write the solution now. What is the principle? The principle in this problem is 8,500. The given rate is 9%, but I will, because this 9% rate is yearly. Okay, so the rate of interest that I will use will be 9 upon 2, which is 4.5. This 4.5 rate I will use okay because it is half yearly you have to see these words are very important half yearly okay and number of years is given to us is how much number of years is given to us is nine years so the number of terms is how much how much terms will be there in nine years it will be nine multiplied by two right it will be 18 terms will be there so wherever n comes now the value of n i am going to use how much i am not going to use 8 because this is years i want half yearly so the number of terms in 9 years will be how much 18 terms so this will be my half yearly number of terms okay so what is the formula of amount in the compound interest? We know that the formula of amount is P into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N, which is equal to principal is how much? Principal is 8,500 into bracket. 1 plus rate is how much rate is this is the rate 4.5 upon 100 raised to 18 bracket raised to 18 which is equal to 8500 bracket 1 plus 4.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.045 i'm using my calculator 0 0.045 bracket raised to 18 which is equal to 8500 bracket 1 plus 0 0.45 is 1 plus 0 0.045 is 1.045 again you can use here your calculator raised to 18 now i will use my calculator and find the value of 1.045 raised to 18 okay that how to find the value of 1.0045 raised to 18 is actually done in the lecture. So it comes to be 2.208. So this is 2.208. Okay. And this is multiplied by 85. Zero zero as it is right now. I will use my calculator and find this multiplication. How much it is equal to? It is eighteen thousand 
सेवन सिक्स एट सो दिस इज द अमाउंट ओके एंड नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट द फॉर्मूल ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इज सी आई इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस पी विच इज इक्वल टू एटीन थाउजेंड सेवन सिक्सटी एट माइनस एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड दैट इज नथिंग बट टेन थाउजेंड टू सिक्सटी एट सो दिस विल बी द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम so now we are going to see problems based on compound interest where the compound interest is taken quarterly basis on quarterly basis so the complete one year will be now divided into four parts okay so the number of terms will become four times so if we are working for five years okay in five years you will get uh, 20 quarters so the number of terms will be 20 and the rate of interest will get divided into four parts so suppose the rate of interest for the complete year is 10% then the rate of interest that i will use will be how much 10 upon 4 which is equal to 2.5 so the complete year 2.5% in the first quarter 2.5% in the second quarter and third quarter and fourth quarter so on this will cover my 10% of the complete year okay so let us see one simple problem based on this so i will find the compound interest on rupees 10000 at 10% per annum for 7 years compounded quarterly okay you have to read the question properly compounded quarterly okay so how am i going to solve this problem now so the principal that is given to us is 10000 the rate is 10% but i'm going to use it as because it is compounded quarterly i'm going to divide it by 4 and i will get it 2.5% because it is compounded quarterly you have to divide by 4 and the number of terms how many number of terms are there for number of terms you have to multiply it by 4 because one year has four terms so seven year will have 28 terms so these values we will use in the problems and find the compound interest so first we will find amount amount is p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n which is equal to 10000 into bracket 1 plus 2.5 upon 100 raised to 28 then i have 10000 into bracket 1 plus 2.5 upon 100 when i do in my calculator i will get 0.025 raised to 28 1 plus 0.025 comes up to be 1.025 multiplied by i'm sorry bracket raised to 28 and you have a 10000 as it is which is equal to 10000 multiplied by 1.025 and that will be raised to 28th power i will use my calculator and find the answer it will come out to be approximately 
and when I multiply 1.9964 by 10,000, I'm getting 19,964. So this will be the amount. Then we will find the compound interest formula is A minus P, which is equal to 19,964 minus 10,000 is the principal, which is equal to 9,964 approximately. So this is the way you find a compound interest for if, if it is compounded quarterly. Okay. Okay. So in this lecture, we are going to study about equated monthly installments. So we usually take a loan from the bank, which is uh, called as the loan amount. And that loan amount I'm going to denote by the letter capital P. which is called as a loan amount. Then the loan is to be repaid in terms of some small amounts, which is called as EMI. That EMI I'm going to denote by the letter X, which is equated monthly installment. The rate that we are supposed to use, that rate we will denote by i which will be the given rate in the problem will be divided by 1200 and n will denote the number of terms number of terms so let us write the formula to calculate the emi b is equal to x upon i in the bracket 1 minus 1 plus i raised to minus n this formula will help us to find the emi okay now let me write one simple note here if i have a number 0 0.07 raised to minus 6 okay if you have a number 0 0.07 raised to minus 6 so what is this written as this is written as 1 upon 0 0.07 raised to 6 this is how you will calculate this number so what formula i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you that any a raised to minus m is nothing but 1 upon a raised to m this is the formula that i will need when i'm solving problems okay now where will this occur we will see when you solve the problems okay so let us see the first question now if alone of rupees 50,000 is borrowed to purchase a two-wheeler Find the EMI for two years at 
फाइव परसेंट पर एन एम सो दिस प्रॉब्लम वी वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व नाउ सो वॉट इज द लोन अमाउंट हियर द लोन अमाउंट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वॉट इज द पीरियड द पीरियड इज टू ईयर्स वॉट इज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फाइव परसेंट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द ई एम आई सो हाउ मच मनी डू आई हैव टू पे एवरी मंथ टू द बैंक so that this loan will become nil okay so i will write the principal now so p is actually called as a loan amount by above formula p is a loan amount which is 50000 next is n n stands for number of terms means how many times do i have to pay the loan now for two in two years we have 24 months right so 2 into 12 because every month has every year is 12 months so how many months will be there where i have to pay this emi i have to pay this emi for 24 months what is the rate of interest what is r given to us in the problem r is given to be 5% this is 5% for the entire year which is nothing but 5 upon 100 right which is 0.05 i will not write it 0.05 okay but this rate will be divided into 12 months correct because there are 12 months in the entire year you have 5% but in every month then you have to again divide it by what you have to again divide it by 12 and that is the reason when i wrote the formula for i what was i equal to i was r upon 12 into 100 which is nothing but r upon 1200 Which is equal to five upon twelve hundred. Just five upon twelve hundred. Okay, and what is five upon twelve hundred? We will just use the calculator and find out what is five upon twelve hundred. So five divided by twelve hundred in my calculator, it is zero point zero zero four one. Okay. So I is equal to zero point zero zero four one. So this is our I. How many number of terms we have? N is how much? N is twenty four, and P is how much? And P is fifty thousand. Now we will write down the formula. So what is the formula? P is equal to x upon i into square bracket one minus one plus i raised to minus n, which is equal to. So P is how much? So I will write exactly P below P. I will write fifty thousand is equal to. On the right hand side, I have x. X we don't know. What is X? X is EMI. We want to find EMI, right? So X is I don't know what is X. So I will write X as it is. X upon I. What is I? What is the answer for I? The answer for I is zero point zero zero four one. I'm just substituting the values in the formulas. Square bracket one minus In the bracket, one plus i is how much? Again, i is zero point zero zero four one. Round bracket closed. Raised to minus n. What is n? How? What is n? We have written that n is nothing but twenty four. So to the power, I am going to write minus twenty four. That power is minus twenty fourth power. In the next step, 
in the next step i will shift this 0 0.0041 to the right hand uh, to the left hand side and multiply it by 50000 because here it is divided on the right hand side so when i bring that number to the left hand side it will multiply so what will i get so i will get 50000 multiplied by 0. 0.0041 is equal to once the 0 0.0041 has shifted to the left hand side now nothing is there on the left hand side okay so that 0 0.0041 is adjusted on the left what is left on the right hand side what is remaining on the right hand side we will write that x in the square bracket 1 minus what is 1 plus 0 0.0041 when i do this in the calculator when i do 1 plus 0 0.0041 I'm going to get inside the round bracket. I will write 1.0041 round bracket closed raised to minus 24. And then the square bracket will also be closed. Okay. Now I will go into my calculator and calculate what is 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.0041 so 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.0041 comes up to be only 205 okay let me recheck 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.0041 will just come up to be 205 this multiplication is only 205 so i will write 205 is equal to x into bracket 1 minus now i have to take care of this what is 1.0041 raised to minus 24 okay i have told you in the above note okay i have told you already in the above note that if you have something raised to the negative power minus power it is nothing but 1 upon 1.0041 raised to 24 okay so i will replace this entire quantity by what 1 upon 1.0041 raised to only 24 so when i do this the negative sign will go away okay in the next step now what i will do i will go into my calculator and i will calculate what is 1.0041 raised to 24 this answer we will find out using our calculator so 1.0041 raised to 24 comes up to be 1.103 it comes up to be 1.103 so when i'm writing the next step i will write 205 is equal to x in the square bracket 1 minus 1 upon this is how much instead of 1.0041 raised to 24 i'm going to write 1.103 so 1.103 square bracket closed okay now i will again go in the calculator and find out what is 1 upon 1.103 so in my calculator i will go and type one divided by one upon means one divided by one divided by 1.103 and that will come up to be 0 0.9066 it comes to be 0 0.9066 so when i write the next step i will write 205 is equal to x in the square bracket 
1 minus this 1.103 I will replace by the number 0 0.9066 square bracket closed okay and then I will now use my calculator and find out what is 1 minus 0 0.9066 so 1 minus 0 0.9066 9066 it turns out to be 0 0.0934 it come it is coming to be 0 0.0934 so in my next step i will write 205 is equal to x multiplied by what is this answer 1 minus 0 0.9066 is how much 0 0.0934 okay and now this is the last step we have to perform this x we want to keep alone so this 0 0.0934 i will shift to the left hand side here it is multiplied on the right hand side it is multiplied so when i send it to the left hand side it will go and divide so what will i write in the next step 205 divided by 0 0.0934 is equal to once the 0 0.0934 is gone from the right hand side on the right hand side only x is alone so we are left with only x now i will go to, to my calculator and do this division the division is 205 divided by 0 0.0934 and that will come up to be 2194 Point eighty six two thousand one hundred and ninety four point eighty six. Okay, so this means that X is equal to two thousand one hundred and ninety four point eighty six. And what is X? X is nothing but X is our EMI. So this means that every month I have to pay the bank. How much money I have to pay 2,194 rupees approximately.